where a deaf child, when he's, let's say he's five years old, and all of a sudden he comes to school. It's like a whole new world. And all of a sudden he comes into a room where everybody's talking in full sentences and communicating, and it's like, whoa. It's a eureka moment. We started with a small school here in Karachi. We wanted to make it an exemplary model. Nothing fancy, but something practical, functional, and that would work. Here we are at our Deaf Reach Primary School campus in Karachi. We're right in the heart of the city. There's not really any land available, but this place had a garden, and that's what we were very happy about. We have our younger guys. This is Huma, she's deaf, our teacher. Actually, she's from Hyderabad, right? You're from Hyderabad? From Dadu. Uh, yeah, right, Dadu. They're making a documentary about us, Vizila. Yes, I know. <laughs> This is Abdul Majid. He's also deaf. He's an old man. All the kids love him, they say. <laughs> right now, we have 72 teachers in our five schools. Of those 72 teachers, 45 of them are deaf themselves. So, can we give the kids here? You're getting English, you're getting Urdu, and then you get a picture. The input for a deaf child, as long as you're giving him visual input, which we started with flashcards. Once we got all this uploaded and set up this PowerPoint system, this has become a little outdated. We just step back and look at the deaf people as a cultural minority group who share a common language, which is their signed language. Then we have a whole different view, and we realize that they simply need empowerment in order to reach their full potential. The deaf community in Hyderabad had heard about this. They came and they begged us, please sir, please sir, open one in Hyderabad. I wanted to thank very much Abraj for the help that uh, they've been in setting up the school for Hyderabad because actually that was our second school for the deaf in Pakistan. So we have three classes here? Yes, three classes. Good morning. That's the sign. Good morning. Hey, Madni. How are you? Hi. Sub TK? Hi. This is Madni, and he's been working with us for a long time. How long? Seven, Seven years. And he got married with uh, another of our teachers who's deaf. We have two babies now. <laughs> Again, the only difficulty a deaf person has is in communication, but that doesn't have anything to do with learning computer. Education is empowerment. and. And when you empower someone, they learn to take responsibility for themselves. They become self-reliant instead of dependent. That's a lot of sandwiches. You have 150 children you're feeding? Yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> Every day. We just started a project last year with Shell Pakistan where they're hiring deaf boys to work in the petrol stations. Started with four, now there's 35 working in Karachi and they're just going to expand this program to Lahore and Islamabad and ultimately inshallah Hyderabad and some of the smaller uh, communities. This creates awareness also. It tells the community, hey, deaf people are capable, deaf people are responsible, deaf people are able to become good citizens, just need to give them a chance. <laughs>